The landmark conference playoffs get underway tomorrow, and for the Moravian men and women, the road to a t uh, conference title will begin on the road. Both teams come in the four-team playoff as the number four seed, with the men facing top seed Scranton and the women taking on number one Juniata. This will mark the 11th straight appearance in the postseason for Mary Beth Spurk. Goes into the playoffs with a record of 18, 8 and 6 and 15 and 10 overall. They will have their hands full against the Juniata team, who beat the Greyhounds in both regular season meetings and route to a 14 and 0 league record. The Eagles are also 24 and 1 and currently ranked 11th nationally. We definitely feel like we want some revenge after the last game, losing by three in our pink game. Um, it was a good game, but we know that we are better than just playing them close, so we want to just prove that. We just have to defend the three-point line, make foul shots, do the little things, and not take a playoff. I think we're communicating a little bit better, and we're playing hard. We just have to play hard for 40 minutes, not you know, 37 minutes or 30 minutes. It has to be the whole game with all five people on the court and everyone on the bench, too. We have to rebound the ball better. We got out-rebounded by, I don't know, 16 or something like that and so at when you're on the road you have to rebound the ball better and excuse me we have to uh, shoot from the foul line better we had every opportunity to win that game but we didn't shoot from the foul line that well so those two things you know have to happen or um, or we're going to be on the uh, wrong side of the scoreboard we're just going to go and 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 play as hard as we did when they were here and um, you know hopefully play a little bit better and, and try to get a W up there. It's going to be tough, no doubt about it. You know, it's a long drive, all that stuff, um, and they're good at home, but um, we're, we're, we're up for the task. On the men's side, Jim Walker's team coming off a regular season loss of Scranton 81-77 this past Saturday, and tomorrow they look to avenge that loss as they face Scranton once again. Moravians 7-7, 12-13 -7, overall, and making their first appearance since the 2008 season. Scranton 11-3 and 18-7 and overall. I think the stat was the last eight possessions of the game, we didn't get stops on them. So, you know, towards the end of the game, we really need to tighten up our defense and make sure that we have energy for the whole 40 minutes in order to beat them. It's going to be tough. Juniata and Scranton are, are great teams. Um, but like I said before, I think when we play together and we play as a, a team, nobody could beat us. Mark Coble and I are uh, the only two seniors that have been here for four years, and it's the first time we made the playoffs, so it feels good. We want to get a championship. And uh, we believe that we can get a championship, and uh, you know we're going to work hard for that. Everybody's happy to be in the postseason. I mean, we knew that going into, into Saturday's game, and still didn't play well enough to to get anywhere because we were, you know, we, we lost the game. But um, you know, our outlook's been good all year. W one of the difficulties is we've been hurt all year, and um, every day we get a little healthier. So. Any, you know, two more days for us is a, is, is a big thing to be able to, you know, we're two days healthier than we were when we played on Saturday. And uh, so we've had a rough stretch of, of injuries down the, down the road here. Now we've got everybody back, but uh, except for Aaron Timi, who we lost on Saturday. So um, but at least we're almost 100 percent. So that'll, that should help us a little bit. Twice we played in this year. In both games, we had uh, led most of the game and then led uh, right up through the uh, end of the game. With five minutes to go, both games were up, or two minutes to go rather than both games were up five points. We just didn't finish the game. So we'll have to do, we'll have to do that. We, we didn't get stops when we needed them. Um, I know our offense wasn't great. We didn't score at the end of the game, but, but we, with a five-point lead, if we just play good defense, we'll be able to win the game. So I don't think we have to change anything. We, we, our game plan will be the same. Uh, we have a, a, you know, a philosophy offensively that we want to accomplish. We did that the last game. We also did it up there. And, and also, we've played very well on the road. So um, I, I'm not worried that the road will be an issue for us. It's a matter of Scranton's a very good team. Uh, they're very hard to guard. Uh, they're, they're the best offensive team in the conference. And so, you know, it'll be a challenge for our defense. Now, Jim Walker says his team plays well on the road. They're going to have to. Scranton 10-1 and one on the year at home. We'll see what happens. Both of those teams obviously traveling tomorrow night. Wrestling up.